In this video, you will learn how to write a simple Python program and execute it in the terminal. As this is an introductory lesson, you only need to be comfortable with the basic commands in the Linux terminal. Python is a powerful programming language which can be easily used to control hardware attached to the Raspberry Pi. We can run Python straight from the Linux terminal by simply typing Python. This brings us into the Python interpreter, where we can type in code and immediately get the output. For instance, if I type in 1 plus 2, Python will interpret this as finding the sum of 1 and 2, then compute the answer, and then output it to the screen. To exit from the interpreter, simply press Ctrl Z. Note that the version number of Python will be displayed by the interpreter in the first line. In this case, we are running version 2.7.3. We could have also ran Python 3, which opens an interpreter for version 3.2.3. .3. In these videos, I will stick to using version 2 as it is more commonly used than version 3. Now the interpreter is not used to write programs, but it is useful if you want to quickly experiment with a few lines of code. For writing Python files, we can use a text editor called nano. We simply type nano, followed by a file name. Here the file name is first, and the file extension is py. The py indicates to nano that it is dealing with a Python file. The advantage of including a file extension is that nano will recognize special keywords in your code and give them a color, which will make your code more readable. Let's hit enter and see what nano looks like. If I type print, I see that it's colored as it's a special term in Python. The print command is used to write a message to the terminal. We must write print exactly like I have here. For instance, a capital P won't work, which is hinted at here as print is no longer colored. There is an important lesson here. Python is case sensitive, which means that the meaning of a piece of code will change depending on whether you use upper or lower case letters. Next, we must decide what to print. In this case, we will output what is known as a string of text to the terminal, which will require a pair of quotation marks. Now anything placed between the quotation marks will be printed. I've chosen hello pi because I'm boring, but feel free to be more original. To exit, we look at the bottom of the screen where it shows us a few keyboard commands. We must press Control X to quit. You can learn more about nano commands by pressing Control G, which goes to the help screen. For now, we want to exit, so Control X, you will be asked if you want to save the changes made to your file. Of course I do, so yes. And it will also ask you what file name you want to use. I still want to use first.py, so I'll simply hit enter. If I list the files in the directory, I can see the file that I just made. To run the Python program, I can't simply type the file name and hit enter, as Linux won't understand what I want to do with the file. To run it using Python, I must first type in Python, filed by the file name. And there we have it, my print statement, hello pi which is our first program using the print command.